If you drive down Capitol Boulevard, you know it's not uncommon to see people crossing the road outside of a crosswalk. It, it is not uncommon Often. at all. It's also very dangerous for the drivers and, of course, can be very deadly for pedestrians. And just last night, a Raleigh police officer hit 51-year-old Pedro, Pedro Lopez along that stretch of road, killing him. Tonight, CBS 17's uh, Galat Milamid is digging deeper into the safety along Capitol. And Galat, this is the second time in just the last month or so that you've uh, looked into pedestrian safety in this very area. It is. I stood in this exact spot just four weeks ago after two pedestrians died along Capitol. People I spoke to in the Department of Transportation admit that this road is challenging for pedestrians with its many lanes of traffic and high volume of cars, but the department says it's doing everything it can. One after the other, people cross in the middle of the road near Capitol Boulevard and Calvary Drive. Michael Joyce has no problem owning up. I jaywalk all the time. I'm sorry. At an intersection where two pedestrians were hit and killed by drivers in less than six weeks. Monday night, Raleigh police say an officer in a marked car hit a man crossing outside the crosswalk near the intersection. He was taken to the hospital and died from his injuries. The Calvary Drive area is part of a less than one mile stretch of Capitol where five pedestrians were killed last year. I asked Joyce why he jaywalks. Well, shortest path will get you there the quickest. I'm over here looking, watching, waiting for this bus to come. I don't want to miss it because I am trying to get down that way. I think the lights are a little bit long, so waiting for it gets uh, gets old. How long? Okay, the light just turned red. Now I'm going to start the timer and walk over here so it knows I want to cross. And we waited. All right, the light's green. I have two minutes and 20 seconds. Once in the crosswalk, pedestrians get about 40 seconds. Oh, it is difficult to cross because uh, the walk sign isn't on very long. And when you do cross with the walk sign, you've got cars turning in this direction. When I spoke to an NCDOT engineer last month following two pedestrian deaths on Capitol in a week, he told me these striped crosswalks were put in to make pedestrians stand out. The city will also extend the curb and put markers for visibility. It's going to help a little bit. But Kwon Yu Chen with Oaks and Spoke says that's not a true long-term solution. He hopes Raleigh's program Vision Zero, which aims to decrease fatalities, helps. When you don't have an adequate, you know, complete street design, Unfortunately, an incident like this is just going to continue. As for the most recent death here, Raleigh police say the department is conducting an investigation. And just like with all crashes, they'll look at if the officer violated any laws. That driver is on administrative leave per department protocol. Live in Raleigh, Gilot Malamed, CBS 17 News.